Natural fragmenting projectiles are high explosive projectiles which upon impact burst into a thousand small steel fragments of irregular shape and mass. These fragments fly at very high velocities, more than 1000 meters per second. Fragments with lower mass from 0.5 to 2.5 grams are responsible for the majority of wounding in combat field. And when we are talking about numbers, these fragments can make more than 50% of all fragments generated upon the explosion. But from the mass point of view, they make only about 30% of the total mass of the projectile body. So basically speaking, lower mass fragments are much higher in number than the heavy ones, and there is a much greater probability that they will hit the target. On the other hand, there are preformed projectiles. These are modern projectiles that are filled with some sort of preformed fragments, usually cubes or spheres. These fragments, cubes and spheres, are embedded into a special plastic-based resin called liner, and this liner is inserted into the projectile body. These fragments can be made out of steel or, as it is usually the case, of Wolfram. And Wolfram is chosen because of its high density, which is 2.5 times higher than steel. So, for the same fragment shape, let us say a 3mm cubital fragment, Wolfram cube will be almost 2.5 times heavier than the steel one, and the same goes for the sphere. But what does this mean for the energy upon the impact? Well, the Wolfram cube will have more energy for the same initial velocity. There are many questions yet to be answered. How does the projectile body heat treatment influence initial velocity? How much is lethal area of preformed projectiles larger than the natural fragmenting projectiles, if it is larger, of course? What is the fragment spray pattern of preformed projectiles? What is collateral damage compared to natural fragmenting ammunition? These are all questions that are to be answered, and for that purpose, 46 specimens are prepared for experimental analysis. These specimens are divided into two main groups, based on the heat treatment of the projectile body. And these two main groups are later on divided based on the shape of fragments, cubes and spheres made out of steel and cubes and spheres made out of wolfram. In order to fill in the projectile body with preformed fragments, special liner was designed using CAD methodology. Six or seven failed attempts were needed to finally make a correct shaped liner and it was physically made by printing it on a 3D printer using PLA plastics. Even though war events and phenomena that is in process during war combat is not something in which one finds a pleasure in life, this is not the reason why this subject should not be a part of academic research and better understanding of physical processes that are happening. Thank you for watching.